Kroger CEO Rodney McMullen joins us now for an exclusive interview. Welcome back, Rodney. Good to see you. Good to see you, Sarah. Well, this was a surprise, a better surprise on sales, on digital sales, but also on, on the guidance and the projection of 13 percent comp store sales. What gives you the confidence that people have really changed their behavior in a lasting way and buying more groceries in the longer term? Yeah, customers are continuing to shop uh, in our stores. You know, they, when they shop in our stores, uh, count is down, but the amount they spend per visit is up uh, significantly. Also, our digital business, as you mentioned, is up 127 percent. Customers continue to in engage in that. Uh, and what we're finding in markets where COVID is less a lower incident rate or higher incident rate, it really doesn't have that much of a difference. Uh, people, and the thing that's exciting for families, people are finding they enjoy cooking, they enjoy eating as a family. So it's really all those things together that gave us the confidence to go out with the guidance that we did. Initially, your stock was higher. It's turned around and, and lower along with, you know, the whole market. But Rodney, one of the things I, I kept hearing about is that you are talking about taking price or promotions. Why are you doing that at a time where consumers are willing to pay up and, and have a lot of demand for groceries and they're still in somewhat limited supply? We're, we're really looking at this for the long term. You know, what's right for the customer today and what's right for the customer two or three years out. And we've been able, obviously, with the increased volume uh, has allowed us to take some, uh, some leverage, some costs. And what we're doing is taking some of that and sharing it with the customer in terms of waiving our pickup fee. Also, we've continued to do promotions throughout the pandemic. And we continue to uh, share some of that with the customer. And we really do fundamentally just believe the customers will reward us that once we get out of the pandemic as well. So it's, you know, for us, it's just the mm. right thing to do. And it's the right thing to do to help a customer's budget go a little further. The other question I had about those online sales, which, which were impressive, we've, we've seen that across the board. And, and Kroger, I feel, often doesn't get credit on Wall Street for its growing digital business, certainly relative to competitors like an Amazon or a Walmart. Walmart's launching this new Plus program, which is a subscription service like Amazon Prime, focused around groceries. Where do you fit in here with your competitors as it relates to who's ahead and who's behind on online shopping? Yeah, for us, it's the whole total experience. So when you look at uh, what our customers tell us, and one of the reasons why our digital business is so strong is things that are personalized, uh, we do incredibly well on fresh. Uh, customers uh, tell us and they expect uh, that our fresh is uh, really good and good relative to our competition. And it's really all of those things together. And uh, as you know, uh, we've had a membership program for a long time and you didn't have to pay for it. It's uh, fuel rewards and we do loyal customer mailings and all of those things. Uh, so we continue to look at what does the customer want and needs are, and then how do we serve those. And what we find is it, our t store teams and our uh, pickup associates and uh, delivery is very important, and making sure we have that total balance of the experience, both from a people standpoint, uh, price standpoint, promotion, and uh, then kind of sealing it with a deal with fresh products as well.